I have been wanting to make this video for about two years now. That is when I started daytime potty training Lincoln and I assumed for him nighttime wedding would stop as easily as it did for my other three children and it just didn't. I was able to sit down with a child psychologist and talk all about all about nighttime wedding and I cannot wait to share what she shared with me with you guys but before we jump into that I want to thank good nights for sponsoring today's video good nights offer the best nighttime protection guaranteed versus the leading training pant with 40% more protection and absorbency than the leading 4t 5t training pants Lincoln and I both really like that the waistbands are soft and stretchy because they feel like regular underwear Good Night's nighttime underwear comes in extra small sizes for those kids that have recently been potty trained and only wet at night. Visit goodnights.com for additional resources on Good Nights. They also have additional resources and tips for bedwetting. This has been a topic that has made me very emotional in the past and I want to start back with Olivia. So when I had Olivia and we were um, trying to do the whole nighttime training, it was very frustrating. I was frustrated because I felt like I wasn't doing a good job teaching her. I knew she felt like she was letting me down because she was waking up wet and I would get frustrated. She would get frustrated. When I talked to the child psychologist, the very first thing she told me is that nighttime dryness is a completely different process than daytime potty training. And she compared it to driving a car. She said, you cannot teach someone to drive a car or do anything when they're dead asleep. Nighttime dryness is not something that you can teach your child. It's not something that they can practice like they can um, daytime potty training. With daytime potty training, you practice it, you repeat it, and they learn how to stay dry during the day. But with nighttime, it isn't something that you can teach them, it's something that mother nature has to kick in. There is a hormonal switch in your child's brain that will decrease the amount of urine that your child produces at night. And this is why when your child is consistently wetting the bed at night, there's so much pee. I always wanted to know why is there so much pee when they're in the, uh, before they start learning to keep the bed dry at night. And versus a kid that has like a little accident at night, it's just a little bit of pee, and it's because that hormone hasn't switched yet, and it is not something that you can teach your kid. For me, that was a very comforting thing to learn. It really did help me understand, okay, it is not a me issue, it is not a child issue, because Lincoln is four years old coming on five, and he hasn't hardly once kept the bed dry at night. But he is so good during the day. So that was a confusing thing for me and I was so glad that this child psychologist could clear that up for me and help me understand that it will happen when it happens. And that's what I love about good nights is that when you wear them, you can stay dry and you don't have to worry. You don't have to stress about keeping your bed dry. It is not something that I'm that I have allowed myself to get stressed about and it's the best advice I could give any parent. It will happen when it's going to happen. There's nothing you can do about it. Why add that extra load to your shoulders? This also helped me better understand why there are some 18 month olds that can stay dry through the night, but there are some eight year olds that can't stay dry through the night. It's that hormonal switch that has to switch on its own and mother nature decides when that's going to happen. I remember going through this nighttime phase that I thought was going to really help with my other children where they would be dead asleep. I would be so tired at the end of the night at like 10, 11, 12 o'clock at night and you would go in, you would wake them up out of a dead sleep. I'm exhausted. We try and get them to go potty. Sometimes they would go potty, sometimes they wouldn't. You would go through all of that hassle, put them back to bed and they would still wake up wet. And I just remember feeling so frantic and so this discussion and um conversation that i was able to have with the child psychologist truly put my mind at ease and it it just reassured the decision that i made a while ago to just not stress about lincoln staying dry at night so if anything that i could convey to you is that this does not have to be a stressful time in your life i know that i don't want to look back and feel sad that I was upset with Lincoln for something that he couldn't even control. So 
I'm walking away from this video feeling just like, like I'm like cheering, I'm so excited. So I wanna thank um, Good Nights for sponsoring this video because it is such a good topic for all of us to discuss and I feel like, I feel like we all learn something together. So thank you, Good Nights. Lincoln, come here. Do you wanna help me? We're gonna stock up your drawer. Do you wanna help me pull uh, these out and we'll put them in the drawer? Let me rephrase that. Come and help me stock up your drawer. This is Lincoln's drawer. It's right outside of his bedroom. And we keep your nighttime underwear in here, right? Come on, you can grab these ones. And what else do we keep in this drawer? Do we keep your inhaler so that when you get your asthma, we can have that in here too? See, look, this is why I wanted you to help me because you're so much better at organizing than I am. But we are stocking this drawer up and I told him we used to keep diapers in this drawer and I said, one day you're not going to need diapers anymore. We're gonna have nighttime underwear only and we just kind of didn't think that day was ever gonna come and one day you're not gonna need these either, are you? Yeah. One day I'm gonna keep them, keep wearing my underwear right now. I don't know what he just said. I'm gonna go to school. You are gonna go to school. Does it make you sad when you have, when you wet the bed at night? Yeah. And when okay. I get my jammies. You did get your jammies. Do you wanna show these guys what's on them? What no. is that? Do you know what it is? The world. It's a spaceship. What the world? And planets. And let's see if the world is on there. Is that Earth down here? The blue one? <laughs> yes, I believe it is. Here's the sun. Look, here's the sun. If I'm wrong, I'm just gonna die. It and I think the that's the Earth. <laughs> no, that's Saturn. You have a rocket toy and you have a spaceship guy that you reflect onto the ceiling, huh? I'll show them my rocket. You can show them. I got this rocket for Christmas. I'm like this. Okay. Okay, come here. Do you know what we have to do before we go to bed? Clip my nails. We have to clip your nails. Lincoln oh. loves when I clip yeah. his nails. Okay, sit down. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, we actually have to. I know you think you can do everything for yourself, but I'm still gonna help you. Before we brush your teeth, you gotta spit your gum out. And I can have a treat. No, spit your gum out. You said I can have a treat. You, are, you already had a treat, spit your gum out. Okay, let's so brush your teeth. For a <laughs> oh my gosh, Lincoln, brush your teeth. Lincoln likes to test me on every step of the way, so it'll be a miracle if I can get his teeth brushed tonight. Hey, I brushed it myself. Yes, you did brush yourself, and this is kind of the secret what I, this is how, okay, kids are kind of stubborn, and I do like to let them feel a sense of independency, and so I let him brush his own teeth, but then for my own sake, I'm going to finish, whoops, sorry, no, brushing your cheek, open. <laughs> brushing your teeth, I accidentally got your cheek. Okay, go ahead and sit. <laughs> he has done everything opposite that I have asked him this whole time. Thank you, Olivia. Lincoln basically did the opposite of everything that I asked That's him right. to do. Okay, well, Lincoln knows the camera's on, and so he is going to fight me going to bed. We are going to finish getting ready for bed. I want to thank Good Nights for sponsoring today's video. Their information will be in the description below, and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye, guys.